Before I get into today's video, I just wanted to mention that our G Fill code has a good percentage off right now. So what I want you guys to do, we're gonna click over on shop now. Let's look at some tubs really, really quick. One of my favorite, favorite flavors of all time is Hype Sauce. Click on Hype Sauce, it's a raspberry lemonade, you guys are gonna love it. Add to cart really quick. Go to your cart, we're gonna click over to checkout. We're gonna go over to our discount code, type in cheesy for me, apply that. And take a look at our percent off. You get 30% off right now. So our order went from $107 to $75. So make sure you guys use code Cheesy. It helps me out. But also it gets you guys a nice little benefit right there. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. With MLB Show 22 just coming out, we need to make a new Conquest video for you guys. Now this way to me is the quickest and most efficient way to get Conquest done. We've had Conquest in the game I think for 4 or 5 years so it's kind of the same thing every single year but again it's just nice to refresh and go over it. You guys absolutely killed this video last year. Let's see if we can smash the likes again for this year. Make sure you guys comment down below if it helped you out and subscribe as well. We have a ton of content coming out for you guys. Make sure all notifications on that way you guys never miss a video. All right, so if you guys have never done Conquest before, let's take you there. We're going to go into Diamond Dynasty to do it. Let's go over to Single Player Modes. We've got Conquest right here for you guys. And there are actually five different Conquest maps right now in the show. Now, I would say probably start with the Batter 1, Batter 2, and Batter 3. Those ones are super simple. They kind of teach you the ways too. But we're actually going to dive right into the USA Conquest map. I only try to do this one time a year. I know there are a lot of people that do it quite a bit. I could never do that. I try to do it one time. But there are some really, really good rewards in this USA Conquest map. We have the USA Conquest map right here. And as you guys can tell, it's an outline of the United States of America. And each different team has their own stronghold, which you guys can see. There's 30 different teams to represent all 30 MLB teams. So you guys know we have San Francisco out in the West, you know, Oakland, LA, San Diego, Houston down South, Tampa Bay to the Southeast. We've got Boston Northeast, Twins in the Midwest. So it just represents every team and where they actually are located throughout the United States. So the first thing we're going to do, actually, let's see if we can look at our goals. So the goals are the most important thing throughout each map. They do change on each map as well. So make sure you guys check them out because most of the time, if you don't think that you finished it, there's probably something else you have to do that you probably didn't do. And we want to make sure that we are not redoing anything in Conquest because sometimes these can be time consuming. So our first goal is to acquire 50 million fans. A lot of these are acquire, conquer territories. And then our first one we actually get a reward is right here with Curtis Granderson. Now we do get show pack right there and whatnot. But we get our first Curtis Granderson. It's a nice little rookie card. He's back in the game this year. So awesome to see him back in MLB The Show 22. And then each time you capture a division, you actually get a prospect pack to, look, to choose from. I don't know if you can actually. We can't go into it right now. But these are all gold tiered packs for you guys. And there's probably going to be some collection towards getting all these done. So you want to make sure you get all these done. You can buy them off the marketplace as well if you want to. But again, if you want to do it for free, just continue to do the USA Conquest map. I think you get two packs out of I think you get two cards you get to choose from, if I remember right. They talked about in the DD stream. Uh, so I think you actually need to do Conquest map three times to get it done. Or you can just buy them off the market again to do that. So those are our goals all the way to goal nine. And then acquire, conquer... Then we get our National League. So capture all NL team strongholds. We got Kerry Wood right here. A decent reliever to start out the year. 84 hits per nine. We got a four seam, 12 six curve, cutter and a slurve. Not too bad at all. Then we get Didi Gregorius for our American League stronghold. Now this is a veteran card, him with the Yankees. Again, a decent card. You know, just someone you can throw on your team in the beginning. And then we get the Conquest map fully completed. You get an 88 Mike Piazza with if you remember, I think this card was... I don't, I don't, he wasn't part of the first inning. I don't remember exactly what part of the inning he was from or what part of the game last year he was from. But it's actually a pretty good card right here. Now, we do know my Piazza has a not great swing. So, again, that kind of stinks. But he is a nice catcher to have right there as 88 overall with 80 power on both sides. So again, we want to make sure we check the goals each time because they do change throughout each Conquest map. So make sure you guys look at that. 
got a nice little look at the rewards as well so let's actually get into how to complete the conquest map the fastest way the quickest way that way we can get in and out of this conquest map as quick as possible i will not lie this map takes a while to do i think it's like four to five hours or three to four hours something like that in total because when you're actually playing conquest you have to play each stronghold that's 30 different games and they're all three innings so you know 10 minutes for each game possibly to 15 minutes and there's gonna be diff difficulties you can play them at so it will be pretty time consuming so it, it might not be something you've done in one sitting but it definitely is something you want to get done overall so the first thing we're gonna have so if you guys can see right here i don't have my logan here yet but right here this is our main stronghold so we start between colorado minnesota the brewers uh, Chicago Cubs and the Kansas City Royals so the first thing we're gonna do the first phase is attack so we're gonna go around and attack all these little things right here so we're gonna make sure we cover our own stronghold right here but again like I was saying they actually cut down on the times between each sim which is really nice but you can too if you go like this you can actually press square and skip the AI moves too so keep that in mind as well as you guys are moving forward with this so what we are trying to do is to capture all these hexagons while we can. So you guys see each stronghold is trying to cover their bases by not letting you attack them off the rip. So what we want to do is we actually want to try to branch out and try to get as many of these little hexagons as we can possible. Because ultimately what you're doing here, so every time you guys are taking over hexagons, you guys get these fans. And these fans are ultimately what we're going to use to attack different strongholds. We're trying to work our way over to the west. We're going to work our way back around and come back around this way. This is ultimately the fast way to do it because in the beginning, we're just trying to get as many fans as possible right here. We're not trying to, you know, attack these strongholds because you're not going to get a lot of fans. from. Unfortunately, when you attack strongholds, you don't get their fans, actually. They just kind of disappear. That's about it, what happens to them. So now we're on the steel fans phase, which I don't know if that's a goal right here. I don't know if we actually have to steal any fans. I don't think that's part of it. We actually don't have to steal any fans, but this is a, a, a nice little thing you guys can do if you guys are trying to get some more fans. So you just click X and like say we know that we're going to go out to the Seattle Manor. So each time, you know, if we want to weaken the attack direction and go for them, you can play the computer on different difficulties. So each time you play them on, on rookie, you get one fan, veteran two, and so on and so forth, the higher you go up. These games, I never play in steel unless it's part of the actual goal to complete conquest. I try to stay with me. These are kind of just games that take time up that you really don't want to do. We're already playing 30 games, no reason to make more than that. So usually I skip this. Again, if it's part of the conquest map, do it because that's a lot of time that people forget to do but in this sense we don't have to do right here so i'm gonna go ahead and skip over it okay so this is a really important part too is our reinforce phase so like i said each time you take hexagons you get to reinforce with the hexagons that you actually took over so right here we're gonna put four right here so there's technically five now on that one so next we have the move fans phase so say that I have two fans over here, but I wanna make sure that they're actually gonna be over here because we wanna take over this part over here. So during this phase, you can actually move fans as long as it's all connected. So say I had a strand out here, but I didn't have this one right here because it got taken over. I cannot move any of these fans to this one because this one is not connected by mine. So you have to make sure it's all connected in, in, in some single source at one point. So again, on this one, we're gonna skip over that. And now we're back to the attack phase. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep taking over as much as we as much as we can right here. The computer really shouldn't attack you off the rip. They should really kind of leave you alone. Again, look at this. We already got another five reinforced phase right here. We're just zooming through this thing. Again, just keep clicking square. Look, we get a hidden reward right there too. We get a show pack, beautiful. And again, we're just gonna keep taking as many of these hexagons as we can right now. We get seven more right here. So every three hexagons you get, you get another fan to reinforce with and move your hexagons toward the next stronghold. Again, we're gonna skip over the move part. Just keep moving over this way. Keep getting these fans right here. Keep skipping over. We got nine reinforces right here. Move fan, skip over it. Again, we're gonna attack, keep it going. And we're getting really close now to not being able to take over any more hexagons at least that are not taken over right now through any of these different teams. So right up here, we actually to the point where we have two, two fans left right here. Now you can try to attack, but if you guys see right here, your simulated chance is only a medium, which means 
you can lose these fans very easily. So what we actually want to do right here is we're going to skip to steal to steal fans, skip again to reinforce and look at now we have 12 fans to play with. Let's put all 12 right here. So we actually have 14 now. So now if we actually go to this attack phase, this will be the first time we're actually going to attack. Now it's a high chance for us to win. So we have 13 fans. They have two. We're going to simulate the game really quick. And boom, look it. We won one right there. Beautiful, easy, not too hard. Again, we're going to go ahead and attack up here. And they said these take, these are really quick to go through now. They usually, back when they first implemented the conquest map and it'll be show, it literally took like a minute each time you had to sim those. It was terrible. Even didn't matter how many you had either. It just took forever. So they've done a really good job on trying to, you know, get through that and make sure it goes a lot quicker. We're going to actually keep going up here and attacking these. Beautiful. You get another hidden reward right there. Let's go right here. We'll probably stop after this one. Again, beautiful, perfect. Okay, so now we see that we're right next to the, to the uh, Seattle Mariners stronghold. Now, if I try to attack right now to go right here, we would actually have to play the game on Hall of Fame. Now, when we are doing this, I strongly, strongly suggest never to play a game above veteran. You definitely don't have to ever. Now, we just have to make sure we're getting a lot more fans. So obviously right here, we're not gonna be able to do that. We're gonna go ahead and skip again skip again and we're going to reinforce 13 fans right here now if we do that we'll have 18 total and let's take a look at what it'll actually be if we try to attack right here look at that now it's on veteran so it's super quick super easy we're going to play them on veteran beat them right after rip and then we're going to take over their stronghold so i'm going to go ahead and play this game really quick just to show you guys i will meet you guys back here right after i'm done with it okay so we went ahead and beat the mariners we actually get a seattle mariners uniform for that so look at that now we have, if you guys see everything highlighted, that is our fan base right there. So you guys see we have the Seattle Mariners taken care of now. So now what we're going to do and what, what you guys should be doing on this Conquest map, we're going to start to work our way down. So we'll go to San Francisco, the A's, the Dodgers, the Angels, the Padres, the Diamondbacks, then we'll work our way up to the Colorado Rockies. So then we'll get to Kansas City. So Kansas City is kind of our halfway point, you know, within the map. Kind of, I always follow that the exact same way when we're going to at least Kansas City. Now, there are some different ways you can branch off right here. You can either go up, go all the way up to the, the, the Cubs, Twins, Brewers, Tigers, the Blue Jays, Red Sox, you know, go that way. You can also go down and go to the Rangers, the Strohs, the Cardinals, go over to the Braves, Tampa, Tampa Bay, Miami, the Nationals, the Orioles, Pittsburgh, and then I usually do that, go over this way to the White Sox, the Cubs, the Twins, the Brewers, the Tigers, the Indians, the Phillies, the Mets, the Yankees, the Blue Jays, and then the Boston Red Sox. So it's kind of the same way that I like to do it every single time. Now, we, honestly, we're just rinsing and repeating every single time we do this Conquest map. To me, this is the quickest way, the easiest way to do it. I think you guys will get through this as fast as you can. Again, it probably takes three to four hours. As long as you guys are just playing the regular 30 Stronghold games, we do not play those Steel Fans games because they will just take up time off your hands and you really don't want to be doing that. So that is your USA Conquest map. We're going to be doing the exact same thing for all the other Conquest maps too. There'll, there'll be a ton of them out there for you guys. They do a ton of them throughout the year. So make sure you guys are doing those. Again, it's just an offline grind. You can get some PXP for it, some face their franchise stuff for it too, man. You get the prospect packs. Mike Piazza, Curtis Granderson, and Didi Gregorius. If I remember what time, there might be somebody else. I think there's one more other person. Let's see really quick. And Kerry Wood, I think it was, right? It was Kerry Wood. Or do you get a Jared Weaver too, which I didn't even realize too. Yeah, you get a Kerry Wood, Didi, Mike Piazza, and he gets 10, 10 show packs, and it's repeatable for those as well. So that in all is our conquest tutorial hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a like for me make sure you guys comment down below if it did help you guys out and make sure you guys are subscribing that way you never miss a video for emblem show 22 i'll catch you guys next time peace